And Maya now plays Tommy Rebredo. Back live then at the Kijong Stadium in Shanghai. And what an occasion for that man in the foreground. Barry Cowan is going to tell us all he knows about Mao Zing Gong. It will take me five seconds. He's currently ranked for 541, and he's Chinese. That's it, no, we don't know. You know literally, he's applied his trade on the futures. He's had a few wins over the last couple of years, but it's going to be a daunting task for him, but it's why he's playing tennis, to be able to get out here in his home country on a, on a, on a main court against a great champion. And he is a great champion, even though he's close to retirement. He has contributed so much to the tour over the last 10 years. Yeah, this is uh, it for Sachin, as far as tennis is concerned. He hangs up the rackets for good after the Masters 1000 event in Paris. So, as far as tournament tennis is concerned, this is the last time the Far East Tennis fans are going to get a chance to see him in action. Still plays pretty well though, doesn't he? I know Marat has to rely on wildcards to get into these tournaments, but he can still produce a good result or two, can't he? Beat Fernando Gonzalez last week in Beijing. And the toughest part really for Sapin, especially in 2009, is his motivation to be able to get out there and practice day in, day out. But what we see on many occasions this year is his nerve. He just seems to have lost that big match temperament, the the belief to be able to go for his shots and be able to make it when it really matters. And he admits it as well. He knows that's a problem. Yeah, and think that's really the main reason. The fact that he, it's contributing in his decline this year. And I think with that, it's very hard to enjoy it.